right now we're going for a drive in the C7 the video cut out the one I am gonna post the battery died so it'll be two separate videos sorry about that first time in it see how this goes up there quick. What am I doing with my life? You need to get me a new car? <laughs> you get me a Z06 now? Sounds amazing guys, if you could hear it. It really does sound good. Oh, well, yeah, but no, it's nice. And then like if you just throw it, just like in the touring mode, there's a little knob right here. And I don't know if you guys can hear it or if you heard it before, but you heard the exhaust. Now it's it's like a sleeper, man. It's really quiet. It's, it's nice. You know, if you're trying to sneak away somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's just a really cool, neat feature, you know, just to come from factory. So, and you can see right there, a little mode select knob. Oh, yeah, mode select. And that's for the exhaust to go quiet? Yeah, to go okay. quiet or go louder, yeah. So you Gosh. got like, a, like four different modes, but... It's that sport mode that opens it up. And the other cool little feature is the screen. You get the button, comes down, you get a little compartment back there. Has your goods in there? Had the goods, yeah. <laughs> the goods. Right now, you know, I've got a, got a phone charger <laughs> and a gate opener. You know, those are my goods. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. How big is that screen? What do you think? Um, seven? If I had to say... Uh, seven inch? Probably seven, seven, eight inch. Yeah. Yeah, cause mine's about the same size. Mine's, I believe, at 8.4. Okay. So it's probably about the same size. Yeah. The digital. Yeah, it's got the digital um, speedometer. So that's pretty cool. It's a really nice feature. Yeah, really cool. I love that about the car. Just reminds you of like the exotic cars. So you know, you, hear, you see the Lamborghinis, Ferraris, all these new cars have that, and it's just digital. And it's pretty cool. So if you guys can see, it goes to 220. Yeah, so you can see right there, 220 miles per hour, what, will I ever get there? I'm not sure. <laughs> what was the fastest you have gone in? Uh, about 140. 140. It's the fastest I got in mine before the governor hit. <laughs> 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 oh, shoot. And the ride, how do you feel about the ride? Just like the way it drives? Yeah. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty smooth. Um, I got no complaints. Um, like he was saying, you know, before I had the ZL1 and stuff, and it has the magnetic ride suspension, so that's one thing that they, they did in this one as well. So, uh, very smooth with bumps and stuff. You know, you hit them, and it just it glides over it, man. It, it's, it's like I said, it's a really dream to drive. So. And is this uh, your dream car, or not the dream car? Next car, definitely, you know, I, I want a Huracan. Um, never really sat in one, so I mean, I, I can't say, you know. Just based off of watching videos and stuff, I want that car, but we'll see. I mean, that that right now is the goal, so. <laughs> so, hopefully a Huracan in the next, maybe, four or five year plan? Yeah, four to five years, so that's, five that's year the plan. goal, yeah, to get a Huracan, so. A four to five year plan is uh, to get one of these, so we could just switch. I'll give you a <laughs> Huracan Hot Wheel, and we could just call it even. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll think about that. It sounds like a good plan, you know. Oh shoot! <laughs> I, I hear those are uh, the hurricane, the hot one. Yeah, great on gas. So on gas. Just you throw it. Any. You just throw it, and you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It is push start. It is push start. Yep. Okay. No, we won't. We don't want to push that now while we're driving. <laughs> no, no. Don't know what'll happen, but yeah. we'll say bye bye to the ZL6 pretty fast. Yeah, for real. <laughs> The trunk space back there, the, and just the, the back. Hatch. Yeah. The back window's pretty wide too, huh? It's like the enough to cool. see. Yeah. That's a yeah. good thing. The looking up here is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the transparent roof. Uh, I'm getting the cover for it, but it does get kind of hot in the day. But you know, I think their main thing was at night, and you know, it's a really great feature. But in the day, it's really hot. 
it's, and it's a pop off, right? Like it isn't like electric or anything. It just yeah, it just comes off. Comes yeah, it's off. got two latches right under the the mirrors right here, and then a little latch back here. So three latches, and it's and it just locks into the trunk, which is really nice. So you can kind of take it on and put it on as you as you go. So it's pretty cool. That was one of the biggest things I liked about the car, and just to have that convertible feature without an actual convertible top, because I, I don't like the way convertible tops look. I think they look really ridiculous. Yeah, my first uh, Mustang was a convertible, and I hated it. That's why I got rid of it. It's because the whole convertible top. Yeah, that material. I mean, I could just imagine it's just a pain to try to upkeep and stuff like that. And, uh, it's actually then when you're when you're going at high rates of speed. You hear a lot of the wind. Oh, okay. With like convertible. Wow, maybe it was just mine because it was old. It was, <laughs> it was an old school 5.0. Yeah, yeah, that was probably him. <laughs> no, problem, I'm sure, you know, material, it can only block out so much noise when it's not solid. So. So. That's pretty cool and how then, it says the gauges right there for there. Yeah, well, the cool thing about that, and you know, for you viewers out there, is um, you can actually hit those little arrows right there and you can kind of control your own. You know temperature so let's say I want cold passenger wants hot you can basically put hot you know throw the seat warmer or the cool seats on so it's kind of cool it kind of separates your you know your comfort zone I guess yeah. kind of something you see yeah. in luxury cars so. yeah so that's pretty cool. cool yeah and the thing I like about this car too is it kind of like a Ferrari like it has that Ferrari body style yeah yeah it yeah. actually does um, I, I have heard that so I think everybody's saying because of the lights and stuff I, I don't know if yeah. I see it but uh, I, you know, now that I'm kind of, you know, looking at it more, I'm, I'm kind of seeing what people are saying about that, but definitely not the Ferrari price, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would definitely suck. So another thing I just noticed about the vet is it's really comfortable. A um, lot of space between us, um, but other than that, the seats, you're like kind of sunken in, but it's enough cushion to wear it doesn't feel bad at all um, really really comfy um, it has the bows yeah and this the bows is a, sound good yeah it sounds really good yeah and that's the one thing and you know the different models so this one's a 3LZ so it's got the, the 10 speaker package so the other the 2LZ and 1LZ have the 9 speaker but I'm sure they all sound great but audio system in this is fantastic so so what's the difference between those three Corvettes, the one LZ, the two LZ, and yours? Um, the one thing that I've really been reading on, um, one of the biggest um, differences in the trims is I guess the material they actually use on the seats. So oh, okay. apparently they use different types of leather on them. So this one's got, I guess, what it's called, the Napa leather. I guess it's their highest quality ones. Got the ostrich? Yeah. So <laughs> I, yeah, maybe, yeah I, mean, I don't know. I just got that. I was like, oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's kind of cool. Caution, red light camera ahead. Um, but other than that, it's got the upgraded uh, sound system. Uh, this one's got the navigation in it, so we got the little GPS symbol right You've there. You've reached your marked location. And, you know, you can navigate anywhere you want to go, which is something I like. I don't necessarily use it, but I like the fact that it's there if I ever did need it. Um, anything with performance-wise or like the suspension-wise that uh, you know of or no? Or you that, haven't read up? Not that I've really read up. I mean, I could be wrong there. Uh, so again, I'm not, you know, uh, a Z06, you know. Fanatic. Fanatic or, you know, I don't know every, it, every little detail about it, but I'm sure there's other things. Um, of course, you know, this one does not have like the carbon ceramic brakes. Um, or rotors, but um, that one uh, is in the only in the Z07 package. Z07 so that's, package. That's, that's and the how, next one up. Um, do you know the price on those ones? I think those goes upwards of over 100 grand. So Jeez. they come with a little bit heftier of a price tag. And this is a 2015? 2015, yeah. 2015, okay. How many miles are on it? Uh, mileage, so I got this one again used 13,500. Bad. No, no, it's not bad at all. We're already halfway into 2016. Yeah, so not so too bad. No, it's not bad at all. Considering this probably came out uh, late 2014. Yeah. So, so yeah, not too bad. And um, we live out here in New Mexico, and we went, or my buddy went and picked it up out in Colorado Springs. Got yeah. a good deal on it. Yeah, great deal. So. That's why I went out of town, tried to come in here in town, but you know, 
Albuquerque's market's a little crazy, so. <laughs> yeah, everyone on here likes to sell everything overpriced by a lot. Yeah. As in, I look at other cars in other states, and they're five to ten thousand dollars cheaper. At minimum, yeah. <laughs> it's At just, minimum, yeah. It's, it's just, it's just crazy how this, how this state is not even a rich state. They overprice cars like no tomorrow. Yeah. And I mean, don't like get me wrong. Like it's nice to live, nice to live here. The weather's nice, all that. Um, the housing is pretty cheap here, but for cars, they mark those up crazy. Um, but yeah, he's happy with the vet. We're happy with the vet. It's not we, <laughs> but I'm gonna say we, because <laughs> I'm gonna be in the passenger seat a couple times. Um, maybe my. Uh, Charger could come and kill this thing. Pull it, pull it by bus lanes. Yeah. That's <laughs> how you know he's dreaming. Guys. Just, <laughs> Just making them dreams. So one day, one day I will wake up. <laughs> give, give him a thumbs up for dreaming. So. <laughs> All righty, peeps. While we're out, we're about to pull up to the pad now. Thanks for watching, and see y'all this weekend. Um, this weekend's a really big weekend for us here. Um, Friday we're doing a Dino Day, so it'll be a lot of cars. A lot of horsepower and then Saturday is an all-out call-out event uh, a lot of uh, out-of-town cars will be coming into people from Texas Colorado I believe 1320 video was coming in because he was here the past couple times he does come here to record videos too and if you guys really do like cars you probably already know about 1320 video and then uh, Sunday is desert fest which is basically a huge car show with all of us just normal guys with all of our cars all parked and we're having it at the casino here and we're taking up the whole parking lot and then June 12th that will also be a really big cruise up to the mountains and um, the past couple of years is between 150 to 200 cars that went so a lot of really nice cars um, a lot of big events coming up so stay tuned and catch you later. Thanks, bye.